Decades as an internal medicine doctor have given me pattern recognition. I can glance at a person and see telltale signs of high insulin resistance, even when they don't know they have it. For years, your body can compensate for this damage. High insulin might not even be showing up in your standard glucose test. The first thing I look at is your skin. And number one is called acanthosis nigricans. If you've never heard of this term, you're not alone. But I will bet you've seen it. Dark areas of thickened skin that show up in the folds and creases of a body. It's most visible in the back of the neck, but it often first appears in the knuckles, in the groin, in the armpits, or in your elbow crease. The skin takes on a velvety, almost dirty appearance. And the first thing you'll notice is little creases in those areas where your skin folds. This is often the most visible sign of insulin resistance. Yeah, insulin is a growth hormone and your skin cells listen to that message. In the areas where there's friction and sweat, the growth signal gets louder. The skin starts to thicken and stack up and the melanin, the pigment inside those cells grows too, making the area thicker and darker. And number two, the same growth signal from insulin also causes the second sign, which is skin tags. Skin tags and moles are different. Skin tags have almost a stalk or a mushroom shape, and they show up especially in clusters, usually in the same places as the acanthosis nigricans. People get defensive and tell me that their skin tags are just there because of friction. And yes, friction made them worse. But the friction is the trigger, not the cause. The root cause is insulin's constant signal telling your skin to grow and grow and grow and grow. The third sign is also your skin but now I'm looking for puffiness. Number three is water retention, also known as edema. If you look down and can't see your ankle bones, well, that's a problem. But this also presents as a puffy face or swollen looking hands and feet. Most of the time, the patient can feel it before you can see it. When I worked in the ER, we would do this simple test. Take your thumb and press it firmly against the bone of your shin for 30 seconds. It should not feel good. The dent left behind is called pitting edema. I have my students do this on themselves to get a measuring stick of their own health. When all is well, there should barely be a visible dent. Many are shocked to see a deep dimple that only shrinks as they improve their metabolic health. Retaining water is a complex problem with many factors involved, but insulin resistance amplifies the problem. High insulin makes your kidneys retain salt, which also puts more water back into your bloodstream. At the same time, that high insulin is wearing away a slippery Teflon coating inside your blood vessels called a glycocalyx. This damage allows fluid to leak out into those surrounding tissues where it pools in your lower extremities. The fourth sign is a body shape that looks like an apple, not a pear. When fat is stored disproportionately around the middle, this is a problem. For women, they lose that hourglass figure in favor of a round belly, and for men, it's classically that spare tire. As I've said, insulin is a growth hormone. It makes you grow, and weight gain is an obvious sign of insulin resistance. But when your normal fat storage, that part that's right under your skin, fills up, your body needs to find new places to put the excess energy, and it starts storing fat in and around your organs. This visceral fat is the most dangerous kind because it actively leaks inflammatory signals, perpetuating that cycle of insulin resistance, and it's very dangerous. Last but not least, we have those toes. Yes, hairless toes are a sign of insulin resistance. Now, remember how insulin resistance damages your blood vessels? It makes your arteries stiffer and narrower, slowing down blood flow. Your feet are the farthest from your heart, and the tiny hair follicles in your toes are picky. They need a steady supply of blood and nutrients to grow, and if you don't feed them, they stop growing hair. Now, look carefully, because some people just don't grow a lot of hair, but I'm saying there are absolutely no hair on any of your toes. And when they stop growing, it's a sign that your whole system is struggling. If you recognize yourself in any of these signs, it's not just on the surface. It's a warning sign for your metabolism and that you're battling high insulin. The good news, you can reverse it. Click on the next video and learn the steps to unlock your fat cells and heal from the inside out. I'll see you there.